Which brings me to when I decided I had to invite you to join us for a bit of conversation after a long three days of working hard. Please tell us where you were on December 31st of 1999. Tell us the story. Oh, I was in... Uh, actually, I wasn't there, but I... It, it, the, the About dairy. Yes, this... Uh, when it when it comes to music, I think this is one of the things that really shows the power of what music can do. Now, um, in 1999, I was asked to go with um, an English choir called the, uh, their professional group, one of the very best in the world, called the Sixteen. And the conductor, Harry Christophers, is a very old friend of mine, and they're absolutely superb. I was asked to go with them to Derry in Northern Ireland um, to, um, I was going to work with, with a, a load of young singers, and then their choir were going to work with a load of young singers, and they were going to do the Messiah um, and sing with Harry's choir. Now, um, uh, Derry, in the, in the time of the Troubles, was a, a, a real centre place for, for um, defining so many things that caused so many problems. In the in the Irish conflict with with a Northern Ireland conflict with uh, um, and um, I uh, th there was a, a a festival that was kind of brokered by a man called John Hume who was um, head of the Social Democratic Liberal Party and he ended up actually winning the Nobel Peace Prize but he he decided someone. Uh, the organist at the Catholic Cathedral in Derry and the organist at the um, uh, Protestant Cathedral in Derry said, let's put on a choir festival. And so, and everyone said it'd never work. And, um, and they got John Hume to help them. And of course it did. And this was what we went for. And it was wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. And of course it was hugely successful. Um, and also, it enabled a lot of young people, school children, to take part in music together because actually the two communities in the um, in Northern Ireland, uh, music was the only thing that brought them together, the young people. And th they have very, very high level of music in schools in Northern Ireland. Anyway, as a result, there was a lovely man called Donald Doherty, who is he's the at the Catholic Cathedral, a very good friend of mine. And he said, we've been asked to do, um, uh, the BBC was, was um, uh, broadcasting on Millennium Eve. They were broadcasting from different parts of the United Kingdom and everyone was asked to present something that defined them. And um, in Derry, they, they uh, did my arrangement of Londonderry Air which of course is, must be one of the most famous melodies in the world. I hope. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, what a magnificent melody. And I orchestrated it and it was done in the square in Londonderry, in Derry. And um, there was a choir of 2000 and um, a, a large orchestra. And they had a lot of very well-known Irish and Northern Ireland musicians who took part. And John Hume, this wonderful man, he sang in the choir. And I remember sitting, watching the TV at home, and I wept bitterly. I, I, I say bitterly. Um, Copiously. With, with joy. With, it, um, because I, I was so proud that what we, kind of, what everything we were trying to do and what everyone else was trying to do, what that stood for, I was so proud to be a part of that because in a way it defines why you're a musician, because it, it, it really focused that, that we were doing something that actually, in its small way, could make people understand that actually we're all the same. And, and that was, oh, it was magnificent. It and was, I was glorious. It was glorious. <laughs> and I was super proud. And um, I, yeah, it was, it was something very special. Mm -hmm. 